The Parc de la Villette was designed by Bernard Schumi for a redevelopment project competition in 1982. The site of the new park once served as a French national meat market and slaughterhouse. Schumi won the competition and construction began. La Villette, located at the edge of the 19th arrondissement in Paris, France, challenges all previous notions of an urban park. Schumi defied the 19th century model of the Parisian park, which he felt was exclusive and irrelevant to the city and city life. Instead, he produced a new type of urban creation, a cultural park. In other words, La Villette is focused on cultural activities instead of nature. The massive site, spanning approximately 125 acres, includes the Museum of Science and Industry, a music center, an IMAX theater, playgrounds, sports and recreation areas, and 10 themed gardens. All of these public buildings and spaces promote cultural expression and activity. Thus, the park is defined more by the human interactions within it than by the landscaping. Another element that takes precedence over the landscape is the architectural aspects of the design. Shumi completely subordinated the landscape elements of the park to the architectural elements. He does this by the use of points, lines, and planes, the overriding concepts of La Villette. The points are the most important arrangement mechanism in the park. These points are a grid system of 35 bright red folies placed at 120 meter intervals. Folies are buildings that are constructed strictly as decoration. The ones in La Viette are not always inutile. Some of them serve as platforms for viewing the park, and others are kiosks. Each folie is actually a 10 by 10 by 10 cube that Shumi deconstructed and manipulated into a unique and complex form. La Villette is a new type of urban design, so it is often in direct conflict with the traditional themes that dominate architecture. Consequently, Shimmy's park design would fit in well with the reading by Robert Venturi, Complexity and Contradiction in Architecture. Venturi discusses examples of architecture that display contradictions at varying levels of program and structure. He talks about both and architecture, designs that do not just serve one simple purpose. La Villette satisfies these requirements. It displays contradictions and disjunctions in order and planning, example, the overlay of the three systems, and it exemplifies the both-and idea. The park is both a collection of gardens and a cultural center. It is both architecture and landscape design. In this manner, La Villette is a very complex and contradictory enigma. Because of the innovative theories behind the design, La Villette came to be heralded as the park of the 21st century. Thus, it may have tremendous influence on the design of future urban parks.